and what's going on YouTube it's the old soldier coming at you from Robinson County North Carolina as you can see I've got some combat gear on today you're wondering what in the heck's going on has the crap hit the fan there not yet but like I said earlier in the month I'm trying to cut some weight get back into a respectable amount of shape so today if you can see behind me I've got these markers in the ground like that one there this is the zero yard line and all the way to the far end down there where the range is at or the berm for the range is at it's 100 yards so what we're going to do is we're going to carry these kettle balls we've got here there's 10 pounders but 10 pounds simulate a box of ammo a weapon what have you and the whole thing is we're going to go take one up to the 25 yard line drop it you come back get the other one take it up 25 yard line then you have to pick both of them back up when you get up there come back to the zero then we're going to go to the 50 do the same thing at 75 and all the way down to the 100 yard that's one circuit our goal today between me and son of old soldiers to complete two circuits why because well he's an xbox generation playstation guru nintendo playstation guy and um anyway and i'm just old fat and out of shape so but uh i'll follow up how we look when we finish this but um as you can see from my attire like i said i've got pretty much my full combat kit on i've got my carbine slung across my back to simulate the weight it's just a good way to train realistically folks so and I'll post a follow-up, you know, or the after video right after this one. So, God bless. Take care. Uh, see you in a few. Old soldier out. So, yeah. I just finished my first circuit. Now, son of old soldier has started his. Uh, needs to say... Where you rear end out, folks. Well, like I said, the whole thing is take the kettleball from the zero to the 25. You pick up the second kettleball, take it up, and you pick up both, and you bring them back. And then when he gets back here, he'll take one to the 50, drop it. Come back, get the other, take it to 50, and bring both back. Then he'll go to the 75 and do the same thing, and then the 100. And that's one complete circuit. Uh, pick up the pace, son of old soldier. Of course, he's being typical son. Doing things to intentionally irritate me, but I love him anyway. Uh, and so while he's doing that, I'm actually going to do some weapons PT. Didn't know you could do that, folks? Certainly. Your long arm can be used as an instrument for exercise. There are certain things you can do to tone your arms. You can go straight out, straight up, okay? You can bring it out to the side, to the middle, back over, okay? And uh, I'm going to do a few of those to just kind of work my upper body a little bit and, and finish opening my lungs up. I think I got a little bit of a head cold because my, my nose is still stopped up. If anybody knows you got a cold or your nose know, stopped up, trying to work out and breathe is never a fun combination. But uh, more to follow. Old soul drought. All right. Second iteration. Here we go.
Want me to stop recording? Alright folks, we'll be back. I'm gonna finish this iteration. It's an old soldier now. Has to do some weapons PT. So yeah. Just finished my my second circuit. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Um I should have had him take the first one. I told him not to. Where my stupid self ran the first 25 yard leg. My age and my condition had no business doing that, but got two circuits under my belt, some weapons PT, which I'm gonna do another round of that here in a minute. When Son of Old Soldier finishes his second circuit, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna give him the camera and show you exactly what I mean by weapons PT. Uh, we used to do it in the army all the time, especially in the field, so. Stand by. All right, folks, this old soldier told you once son of old soldier finished his last lap circuit, I'm gonna show you what I meant by rifle PT. Um, if you've got a long arm, M1 carbine, M1 grand. AR-15. AR-15. Um, even a hunting rifle, shotgun, will work. And if you ain't got none of those, you can also use a weighted bar. And if it, that's too much at the time, get you a dowel that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Or a walking stick. Or a walking stick, but uh, like a dowel for your closet will work to start. But anyway, we used to do this in the Army in the field, okay? And there's several things you can do with your long arm. One is you start here, you place your feet approximately shoulder width apart. You got the weapon down like that, palms facing inward, and you're just going to come up. That's one, two, three, one. That's one complete set or count or repetition. Yeah, blood's running out of my head. So, hey, all right. So, in full speed, it looked like this one, two, three, one. A one, two, three, two. A one, two, three, three. One, two, three, hold. Okay, the next one starting positions up here again, palms facing downward, holding the weapon parallel to the ground feet across the shoulder width apart and it goes like this one two three one a full speed demonstration this rep looks like this one two three one one two three two one two three three one two three hold okay now the next one will be overhead press starting from here again palms facing downward outward and you're gonna go straight up. One, two, three, one. Full speed looks like this. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, hold. Now, you can do that in combination with this one. Starting here. One, two, three, one. Full speed looks like this. One, two, three, punt. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, hold. Okay. Next, when you hold the weapon to the side. One, two, three, one. A one, two, three, two. You do that one in slow cadence. You can switch. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. All right. Another one. One, two, three, one. A one, two, three, two. One, two, three, hold. 
okay? And last but not least, one, behind the neck, two, three, one. Well, one, two, three, two. After you do several repetitions of those in a sequence, you will feel it in the shoulders, the neck, the chest, the arms, all right? Why is this critical? Again, folks, I'm not a psychic, but at the rate our crazy nation's going, you may very well find yourself in a situation where you're going to have to defend yourself. You need to try and, and be in the best shape as you possibly can. Um, I hate to say it, I let myself get into a candy-ass state of shape. Even with all my maladies and ailments, I could have been doing more than what I have been. So I'm trying to get back on track to that point. Uh, I would encourage you all to do some measure of exercising because the, the fitter you are, the more endurance you'll have, okay? Especially, and for those that like to hunt, we'll just take the recreational mindset. If you like to hunt, you get out in the woods, you get lost. The fitter your body is, the more better chance you have of surviving exposure, okay? It's the number one killer of people that go hiking or hunting in the woods is exposure. They get somewhere, they get lost, they can't get out. Okay? Um, they're not, their body's not in shape, they fall subject to hypothermia, those kinds of things. Okay? So, and I'm not saying go out here and, and try to do something that's going to, you know, put you in bed the next day for the next two days. You got to work your way up. You know, like I said, I've been walking two roughly miles. two miles every day for the last three weeks, minus one or two days. Okay? Yesterday I did my two miles. And I, I got in the, back into my crunches for my abs, okay? Today, what you saw is the next generation. My son and I are going to start these circuits on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is our walk day. Now, with his work schedule, he gets a lot of walking in. So when he gets off work on... Uh, Monday morning. On Monday morning, you know, I'll let him sleep, and he, he can go do his walk in the afternoon. But on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're definitely going to be hitting this. In a week or so, we're going to follow this up by finishing our circuits and then engaging targets from 100, 25, 75 uh, yards. Why? It's the other thing. In a combat situation, your adrenaline's pumping, your heart's pumping, you're breathing hard. You've got to learn to bring that under control for target acquisition so you can hit whatever you're shooting at. Um, and by doing this, it makes it a little more realistic. We used to do those in the Army, too. Uh, they called an assault range. And you had to sprint to each firing position before shooting. It brings a level of realism to an engagement. So, uh, with that being said, um, special shout out to Kyle Lusk. Brother, I got your message. Heartfelt, brother. Really appreciate it. Um, to Coda Boy 32 you're the inspiration for me doing this because I saw your workout video that you were getting ready for your next three gun competition. Um, so to you, Coda, one, airborne, two, if you're ever on this end of the state, you're more than welcome to come use my range to work out at and train on. Um, so, but yeah, when I saw you doing it, and I know you got old airborne knees like mine, I said I gotta step up my game so I can be like you, brother. Uh, and to everybody that watches my videos and been commenting, um, I really appreciate you listening to the message. I hope I don't sound like I'm coming off my rocker, but Given the state of affairs, I'm just seeing the writing on the wall where this is headed. Um, but stay safe, stay vigilant, stay armed. God bless, take care. It's the old soldier out.